All right, so what I've got here is a four and a half inch grinding wheel. This is just a hard disc. This is a SAIT brand. Uh, we use Radner, CGW. Uh, this is the, the flat wheels we use. But you're gonna need, need a hard disc. And what we're gonna do is basically bevel this. This is the piece that broke off. This is the shank you can see where it was actually beveled before. And like I said, I, I think this is supposed to do this. That way it's kind of like a, um, a uh, shear pin and you, uh, you know, shears here instead of damaging the actual auger itself. But we'll bevel or grind this off. The bevel is still there. We'll grind all this off. Do the same thing here. Get this all grinded and beveled. And when they go back together, get them packed up, make sure they're straight. And then uh, we'll clean this up with this kind of oblong, these holes a little bit where the pin goes through to hold it. So a lot of grinding to do, and then we'll uh, get it tacked up ready to weld. So what I'm going to try to show you here, it's uh, kind of hard to see, but I'm going to try to show you it's actually, there's a lot of weld. All the weld is actually left on this piece instead of on the short piece here. You can see the bevel. See the weld broke. See the bevel there. It's actually beveled here as well. It's really hard to tell, but you can actually see where they beveled both both pieces. So what I'm gonna do is actually just go right in here. I've almost got that flush with the original bevel, and then what I'll do is just stop there and I'll bevel it back on this edge all the way around. I just wanted you to see that before we got to it. But you can see right there that's the original bevel and this the rest of this is just all fill-in weld where they welded it the first time so we'll grind all that back out clean it up really good get all the rust and corrosion off and then uh, be ready to tack the other one on
so what I'm doing here is the ends or the the pieces that we're going to weld together here you've got the the small piece that's um where the got the pin holes that attaches to your skid steer or your tractor and then you've got the peak the shaft that comes up from the auger itself well i've grinded uh they're not perfectly straight so what we're going to do is take a combination square as you see me doing here and i'm just checking to see how far off square they are or how or which direction they're off square so one side of your piece of pipe is going to be lower than the other. Well, what you can do is just take the combination square, check both pieces, and you can then twist your piece of pipe that you're attaching and use that to your advantage to get a, a, a straighter fit. And um, that way you don't have a big gap and you're not having to fill anything in. You can get it nice and tight. Got it all beveled up. Got all the old weld completely off. Got a nice bevel all the way around. And then the same thing on this piece. You can see a little bit better of the bevel there. And I went ahead and cleaned up. You can see where um, the holes wallowed out a little bit, just from where the pin, the tolerance was a little loose. I just cleaned those up so there's no jagged edges on the outside. The, uh, this slides over the sleeve on the bobcat or the skid steer or tractor or whatever you've got it mounted on, but I still like to have those smooth on the outside. It makes it easier putting the pins in. So we'll uh, get this fitted. Got a little bit of a gap on one side, so a little cockeyed, but should be able to make that work. And we'll put a straight edge on it, get it nice and straight, get it tacked three or four places and it'll be ready to weld up. So now that we've got the pieces all grinded, beveled, you saw me take a wire wheel on a grinder there and clean everything up, get all the rust off. That's very important, you get it very clean. And now what I'm doing, I've taken a piece of two inch channel iron. You can do this a couple ways, you can use angle. Uh, I find it really hard to use angle on stuff like this because the clamps just don't wanna hold. You've got that one little edge and the clamp usually doesn't wanna your clamp on it doesn't want to hold doesn't want to stay so channel iron you got the flat surface and it works really well because it cups the the pipe perfectly so what we're doing here i've got the channel iron like i said it's just two inch piece you could use probably inch inch and a half would be uh probably okay but two inch works pretty good for a four inch pipe and so what we've done we've clamped it on to the shaft coming out of the auger and then we've left enough space for the small piece. It's about, I think, five inches long, the piece with the pinholes. And that's the piece we're attaching to it. So you're gonna butt your bevels up and they're both gonna just lay in that piece of channel. That's not gonna make it perfect. You're gonna have to fudge it. You're gonna have to tap it here and there. Uh, what I'm using is just a, a combination square and a straight edge to get them in line. I'm also looking down it, looking by eye to see if that's straight.
There you see, that's pass number one. And uh, we'll probably do this with two. We'll see what it looks like. Maybe three. Took my time, got good penetration, make sure that sunk in. And then we'll uh, come over the top of that with another pass. There's pass number two. And yeah, you could have done two individual passes there. That's about a half inch gap at the top of that bevel. But I uh, just did a little bit of weave and just did a uh, single pass. And then what I'm gonna do now is just cap it. And that'll be one single pass as well. here with Matco Metalworks and I just want to say thanks for watching the video hope you uh, learned something if you got any questions feel free to comment below or you can also go in the um, information section my emails in there shoot me an email got any questions um, that may not have been the exact perfect way to do that maybe it's not the way you do it but uh, just want to show how simple things can be to fix uh, tools implements 
uh, if you've got the right equipment and um, anybody can do it you know it's um, just got to go after it and um, try things you know you may fail you may not do it right the first time but uh, hope that helps uh, if you got any questions like I said feel free to comment below and um, if you have uh, you know suggestions or maybe you've done this before and have a better way of doing it feel free to put that in there as well um, like I said we don't always do things the right way but um, you know we, we try to do our best and, and make quality products and quality repairs for our customers so uh, glad you uh, watched the video hope you learned something and uh, we will see you on the next one